Okay. Right. Okay, we've got a nice little round of whole body. Um, I've popped in basically legs, arms and core. So if you have some dumbbells handy, maybe some lighter ones and some heavier ones and you can make it your own. Um, whack some music on to your own choice, whack it up and loud, you'll still be able to hear me. So just to warm up a little bit, just work out your shoulders, ease off any tension, coming up and over for some side bends. So we just easy. But the first couple of rounds of mobilization really anyway, and just coming down to squat, sit back onto the stool and up, just working your body. Just another couple here. Well done. And coming up and side to side. Okay. The first round we're doing, so it's all four lots of exercises. We've got four lots of exercises that are 40 seconds each with 20 seconds rest. I am just going to show you now so you can see. The first exercise is a sumo squat. So you're holding your weights, your toes are down. I'll talk to you as we go. We do that for 40 seconds. Then we are going a curl and press with your arms for 40 seconds. And then we're going back to another squat when we're coming to the side, similar to before, but with lateral movement. And the last movement is a box for our arms. Okay, we're gonna start in 10 seconds. So you're warming up, so you might just want one weight or you might want two, but just take it steady. First exercise, coming into a squat position, toes facing out and you're gonna come down into a squat and come up and squeeze your glutes. So when I'm squatting, my back is not rounding, it's nice and strong, coming down and up. So you could either have your weight hanging down or have it here, so you're going a little bit lower. So with this squat here, because you're in quite a wide base, you can challenge your legs to go a little bit lower down and then come up. Okay, 10 seconds left. Go as low as you can and then squeeze up. Go at your own pace. Five, four, three, two, one, rest off. Okay, there's 20 seconds rest. I won't be talking this much throughout it all, don't worry. So you can have a bit of a breather in between. Okay, the next exercise is a curl and a press and down. If you want to go doubles, feel three, 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 two, one, go, go. Okay, either alternate or go doubles. Okay, for this, we also want to be working your core. So pull your tummy in as you pull up and then punch the sky. Brilliant, 20 seconds left. Coming up and out, well done. If it's getting too much, then go singles. 10 seconds left, and we're trying not to swing the weights, keeping them under control the whole time. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Done, two more exercises to go. The next exercise is you tap to the side, come in, and tap to the side. So I always come to center and side, come to center and side. We'll start in six, five, four, three, two, one, go. So you come to the center, out. Just means we've got lateral movement and a little bit more single leg work is going on. So my legs are parallel, symmetrical to each other. So you can start to drive those legs. 20 seconds left. Well done. That's it. So my back is nice and straight. I'm not curving my back. And I'm increasing the depth of that squat as much as I can. 10 seconds left. Well done. Five, four, keep going. Three, two, one, 20 seconds rest. Next one is box. You might want to go lighter on your weights. We've got 10 seconds rest. This one, choice. You either go full box, pop in a squat, or you increase your box to as many as you can. So you're boxing. Three, two, one, let's go. So as I box, I'm coming to the side, pulling my tummy in, 
Okay, those that are quite happy with this one, do as many boxes as you can before your arms tire, and then you pop in a squat. That's it. If you're starting, it's quite nice to do four box and then a squat, and then you start to mix it up a bit. 10 seconds left. That's it. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest, first round done. Okay, four exercises done. We're gonna do the same again twice through. So you can start to push yourself more in the range of movements. You can go quicker if your lights, weights are lighter, increase the pace, or if you've got heavier weights, go heavier. We're gonna go in 20 seconds and we come back to sumo squats, okay? So we had sumo, curl to press, side to side, and then box. Simples, 10 seconds, then we go again. So increase your weight if you can. We're gonna go in five, ready for those sumos? Four, three, two, one, 40 seconds. Now coming down and driving up, keeping your back strong. You don't want any rounding. So your back is really strong down and up. So we've got movement throughout our hip joints. Squeeze your glutes. That's it. 20 seconds. So really drive those legs. Increase the strength. See if you can get those dumbbells all the way to the floor and then come up. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, rest off. Okay, your legs should hopefully need a bit of a shake now. Okay, still got 10 seconds rest, but you're coming to the curl and press, either singles or doubles. Okay, six, five, four, three, two, one, off you go. Now you're gonna power either singles or doubles. Brilliant. Now tuck your tailbone under so your tailbone is not sticking out. So your core is nice and strong and you're not swinging those arms. Well done. Halfway. Power up those arms, curl, and then punch up. Go on, a little bit more, a little bit more oomph. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, Two, one, well done. Okay, 20 seconds rest. I'm just showing you what comes next. So you're coming to the center and then coming down. Got 10 seconds rest first. <laughs> Six, five, starting center. Four, three, two, one, side and down. Side and down. Okay, with these squats here, you're really trying to get as low as you can and you're powering up. So we're increasing the range of movement. And when you can, increase the weight and the power that you come up with so we can get those body adaptations to the exercise. 10 seconds left. That's it. Squeeze your glutes as you come to the top. Five. Four, three, two, one, rest. So we're going back into the box. Go to the lighter weights if you want to, or stay as you are. Okay, those who are struggling with these, just do four box and a squat. Those who are not, you can challenge with the box. Three, two, one, go. 40 seconds. All right, see how long you can box for. Pull your stomach in. So I'm bracing my core when I'm doing this. So yes, it's working my arms and my shoulders. Also wants to work my core, my back. Go on, 20 seconds. Really drive through. 15 seconds. That's it. Really kick out those dumbbells. Eight or tin cans. <laughs> Five. Four, three, two, one. Wow, two rounds done. 40 seconds rest. In this rest, you could always come into a stretch as you need. 
might want to do a quick pigeon, might want to get a drink of water, 30 second rest. And then we've got last round of this one, last round of sumos, last round curl and press, last round side taps, and last round box. Okay, we are going in 12 seconds. So grab your dumbbells of choice or tin cans. We're gonna go in seven seconds. Our toes are facing out, we're coming down and up. Three, two, one, go. Last 40 seconds. So tap and come up. Now, really focus on squeezing those glutes as you come up. Push your hips back, lengthen those hamstrings and drive. That's it. Driving your heels into the floor. This is hurting your knees. You could always take out the bend and you could just hold and pulse. 15 seconds left. Tap and drive. See how low you can get down. Again, check in on your back. Make sure it's not rounding. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest off. <laughs> okay, we're going to curl and press. Go doubles if you can. 10 seconds. The next round is not so bad. <laughs> Four, three, two, curl and press. Go, 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 go. So you can change your stance and have a half stance if it's more comfortable for you than a side by side stance. I'll tell you when we're halfway. So if you are a half stance, you can change. That's it. Okay, 20 seconds left. Challenge those arms. Again, core and back are still engaged and are still working through. Awesome. 10 seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant, happy days. Okay, we've got the side squat. So you're coming down, up to the middle, out to the side. Are we ready? Eight, seven, six, three, two, one, 40 seconds. Go, go, go. Tap to the middle. Go as low as you can. And then you're driving up. Check all the way into your legs. Well done. Last round of these, coming down and up, keeping that back nice and strong. 20 seconds, halfway. That's it. Okay, last 10 seconds. Driving those legs, getting in movement through the body. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, rest off. Last one, box. Okay, we've got 15 seconds. And then we have a new set of exercises. Six, five, we're gonna box. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go, 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 go. So you're gonna drive through as much as you can. Pull in that stomach. Squeeze your glutes as well if you can. Well done. Remember to breathe. Inhale and exhale. So it's all about powering our body. Halfway. 20 seconds left. See if you can keep that box going now. Well done. 10 seconds. Pull in your stomach. Six, five, all the way to the end. Four, three, two, one. Ooh. Rest off. Nice. And rest. Okay, so the next round. Have a little recover and I'll talk you through the next round, is kneeling. So you might wanna put a cushion underneath your uh, um, knee <laughs> and you're coming up and down for a shoulder press. If you have got tin cans, you might prefer to be here if it's too easy doing your shoulder press or put two tin cans in one hand. So I'm just gonna show you as we go, we've got another four exercises. So in your kneeling position here, coming up here and pushing, okay? Are we ready? 30 seconds, three, two, one, go. So you're driving up, 
So by doing this, we're making our core and our back activate to keep us stable. Try not to have that hand and that knee, trying to have it free, and you're coming directly above your shoulder for that press. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. So in this one, each exercise is 30 seconds. It's a little bit shorter. We come to the other side and we go in six, five, four, three, two, one. So again, you're punching up directly above your shoulder, pulling your tummy as if you were zipping up your stomach. That's it. Try and keep that hand off that knee. So we've got instability. So this is brilliant for getting your core and your back to switch on, our glutes are having to stabilize as well, and of course our shoulder too. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Brilliant. Okay, so now we're gonna come here for triceps. So it's a tricep kickback. So your elbow is high, mine are really sore and you're squeezing back here. If you have cans, hold two cans at one time. Three, two, one, let's go. So squeezing up, so my elbow is high. I'm squeezing up, I'm gazing down towards the floor and I'm straightening that arm and really squeezing the muscles. So as I lengthen, that's where the magic really happens. 10 seconds left. So we do 30 seconds on one side. And then we go 30 seconds on the other side. Three, two, one, rest off. Coming to the other side. If you are ready before me, please feel free to start. Six, five, four, three, two, one. So you're coming in and then you're really extending up and back with those triceps. Well done. So if you're struggling with your breath, exhale on that effort. So as you squeeze up and back, that's when you're exhaling. Try not to let your back around. Eight seconds left. Squeeze those triceps. Four, three, two, one, and then rest up. And then we get to lie down on the floor. So take your two heavier, um, dumbbells and we're going to come to a press those who are ready you can always start now with this one my elbows come to the floor and drive up as if I'm coming up towards the point of a triangle those who are happy to bring your legs up into a tabletop at the same time and you will feel your core working at the same time I'm just going to rewind oh no yeah, we're fine <laughs> we're going to go for another 40 seconds so this exercise is actually lasting for a minute. So you're pressing, so you're coming down to the sides of your body, pressing up as if you're going to the top point of a triangle. I think it would probably be an isosceles triangle that we're drawing. So you're coming down and up. No, my legs are up, so I'm really driving my back into the floor so I can feel my core working at the same time. 10 seconds left. Tap and press. Drive that back into the floor. Well done. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. And that is that round. So we go kneeling shoulder, kneeling shoulder. The next time round, we're going biceps and then lie down for that chest press. We're going to go again in 15 seconds. So get ready again for this half kneeling shoulder press which is 30 seconds each side. Are we ready? Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now punch it up. If your weight is quite light, you could go a bit quicker. If it's heavy, you obviously go slower. So ultimately we want to go as heavy as we can, that it feels comfortable to do so. So now as you come down, you might feel your triceps starting to work as well. 10 seconds left. Again, really focus on that core, keeping that stability. Four, three, two, one, and then change over. Okay, 10 seconds left, rest. Are you ready? Six, 
five, four, three, two, one. Go, go, go. 30 seconds coming down and up. Try and stop that supporting hand being on that leg. That's it. Increasing that core strength, your glute stability, empowering that shoulder. 15 seconds left. Go on. Really drive through. Well done. 10 seconds. Powering up, punching up for that shoulder. Four, three, two, one, brilliant. Okay, instead of tricep kickbacks this time, we're gonna go bicep curls. Now, we're gonna come up and twist. If your weights are lighter, you could do this as a running bicep curl. If they're a bit heavier, you probably wanna go a bit slower. Three, two, one, let's go either together or if you prefer, go singles, okay? So we're doing biceps this time because it's opposite to the triceps. 10 seconds, go doubles or singles or mix it up. Five, four, three, two, one, rest up. Okay, we're gonna do one more lot of 30 seconds of biceps. Are we ready? Six, five, four, three, two, one. One more lot, 30 seconds of biceps. Squeeze up, that's it. So challenging the muscles. Again, pull your tummy in. So as if you're bracing your core. So if someone punched you in the stomach, it would be rock hard. And that hand would go nowhere. Got on 10 seconds left. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest off. Okay, we're going to come to the chest press. Now I'm going to show you an, another one that you could do if you want to. So those that want to, just stay with the chest press. Those that want to mix it up, you do a chest press and then you take your weights back and then bring them over. So you go chest press, and then it's called a pullover, taking it back, up and down. Let's go. Those who want to, just say chest press. Those who want to mix up, chest press together. Take it back over your head. And my arms are straight. You might find it easier doing doubles with each. Less to think about. My arms are straight for that pullover and I'm driving my back into the floor. I can feel that core. That's it. If you want to just do chest press, that's fine. You don't need to have your feet up either. Okay, 10 seconds left. That's it. And the first time you do this, you're trying to just work out what weight would be good for you. And then you can come back to it and mix it up. Okay, we have one more round. We're coming back to the half kneeling shoulders, but this time we're gonna curl and press. Okay, last round here, 30 seconds each side. Are we ready? Bring it up to the kneel. Go have your weight if you can. You can always double your weight if you've got lighter weights. I'm gonna increase mine a little bit. Are we ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Curl and drive. That's it, curl and drive. Try not to swing, try and keep that control. This is our last round. So last round, you wanna give it your all. You've got 10 seconds left here. That's it. So we're strengthening our body, putting it through the movement. Five, four, Three, two, one, <laughs> and then rest off. Okay, we're coming to the other side. Are we ready? Eight, seven, six, five, four, last 30 seconds. Three, two, one, go, go, go. So keep that stomach nice and strong. Don't let your body curve out. So your chest is facing forward and you're using the strength of your arm to curl and press. Have a little smile at the same time. 10 seconds left. Brilliant. 
This is the round that you start to challenge a little bit more. Five, four, three, two, one. Ooh. Back to triceps. So, Matt, to your kickbacks, 30 seconds each side. Are we ready? Possibly lighter weights. Three, two, one, go. Bring it in and up and squeeze. Keeping your back neutral. So my elbow is nice and high and I'm squeezing up and through. Well done, go on, 15 seconds left. So it's up here as you extend, you're really squeezing that muscle. 10 seconds left. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, other side. And then we've got a lying chest press. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go. 30 seconds. Getting those triceps to work. And again, because we're supported in one hand, we're also working our core and our back, the stability at the same time. Go on. Last 15 seconds. Extend and squeeze that arm. That's it. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, my triceps are sore anyway. Okay, so we're coming down and we're going chest press. Now this time, instead of tabletop, see if you can go glute bridge. So you go chest press only if you want to. Or you put in that pullover. I have no weights in my hands. Feels quite nice. <laughs> okay, we're going to go. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Those that want to, you're just pushing up. Got two different weights in each hand. Those that want to, raise those hips up. Real glute bridge. Up. And then you can still do that pullover. Just add in a little bit more into it. That's it. Actually, this one's nice to do. If you have a resistance band, a loop band, you can put this just above your knees as well. So you've got a little bit more resistance there. But don't worry about that for now. That's it. So pooch up and come back. Right, those who are up in glute bridge, you're going to have to give your glutes a little extra squeeze to push them up towards that ceiling. If they start to cramp, make sure you come down and just ease them off. Everything things should feel comfortable to a certain extent. <laughs> Keep going. Three, two, one. Rest off. Ooh, we have our last round. Okay, grab a drink. Got a quick little breather here. Last round. Last few exercises. Okay, right, the first one, okay, and just a few modifications for this one. We're going reverse lunges. Those who have sore knees, you'll just hold for a reverse lunge. The second one, we're doing a heel elevated squat. So if you don't have dumbbells, you need a couple of boots. Just grab a couple of boots. Second one is sit up to twist. And third one, last two are core. So the first two are legs. So we'll hold our weights here. So reverse lunge, you're stepping back. Those who are happy with the movement, you're coming back. Those who don't want to do the movement, you can hold onto a wall and hold, or you could do one leg if you prefer. It will tell you when we're halfway. It's 45 seconds per exercise for this one. Now I'm gonna stop talking, so you guys have all got stuff to do. 10 seconds rest, and then we're gonna go. Those who are happy to grab two weights, and you're gonna go reverse lunges. And I am going to keep talking through the modifications. Three, two, one, go, go, go. Those are happy to, you're going reverse lunge. You're keeping your chest up. Your knee does not need to touch the floor, but that is where you are trying to get to. Okay. Those who are not quite there, you could just hold. You probably want to do no weights and just hold, or you can hold on. We are halfway. So if you're holding, switch your leg. Those going alternate, really start to power those legs that little bit more. 10 seconds left. Drive those legs. Eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So a combination of thighs and glutes there. Now, next one, pop your dumbbells on the floor, like so. I'll move my mat, hope you can see it a bit better. Okay, it's heel elevated squats. So we put our heels at the edge and then we come down and squat. So it's a nice deep squat. Those who want to hold a weight, grab a weight, hold a weight at the same time. Feel a bit close to the camera. Okay, we're going to go. Are we ready? Let's start with that one again. Three, two, one. So your heels are elevated and you're coming down and up. You can be holding a weight. So <laughs> your heels are underneath some books or some dumbbells and you're coming down. Your knees push out a little bit and you're coming up. So if you don't have a weight, you could go double time. Those who have a weight, you're gonna go a bit slower. 15 seconds left. So you wanna feel this in your legs, pushing your hips down and back, and then drive up, down and up. Eight, then we get to lie down on the floor for two exercises. Six, five, four, three, two, one, rest up. We're going to do that again. So if it felt a bit weird that last time, it'll feel easier next time. The next one, we have got sit up to twist. So we're going to give you some modifications. Those who are happy with this, you have one weight or two weights, go into however you're happy to do. Those who don't want to come all the way up, you're going to come and you're just going to put your hands underneath your head and tap side to side. Are we ready? Four, three, two, one, go, go, go. Sit up to twist if you can. Coming up and over. So you're following that dumbbell up and over to the side. If not, you've got your hand underneath your head just to guide and you're reaching up and over to that opposite knee. So it's just ever so slight flex flexion. Doesn't want to hurt your neck. Keep your neck nice and relaxed. 20 seconds left. So power through. 15 seconds. Try and exhale on the effort as you come up. Six, five, four, three, two, one, rest up. Okay, the next one we're lying down and we bring our legs up to a tabletop. You're either going to table, um, toe tap, heel tap, or you're going to lengthen here to here with a weight or two weights above you. Ready? Up you go. So level one, you're toe tapping. Level two, you're extending. Level three, you extend those weights behind you as you move. So always choose your option that you're happiest with. Level one, you're just doing those heel taps. Drive your back into the floor so your back is not arching. 10 seconds left. Challenge your body so it feels like it's working. Five, four, three, two, one, done. Cool. Then we've got two more rounds. Reverse lunge. Heel elevated squat, sit up to twist, um, leg extensions, and we've got this. Okay, are we ready for reverse lunge? Modifications. You're either going alternate or you're using the wall or you're holding. 45 seconds, grab those weights. Three, two, one, smile and go. So your reverse lunge, thigh and glute, lean forward slightly and you'll feel it more in your glutes and you're driving up. Some of you might find it enough just to tap back with that foot so you've got a little bit of single leg movement. Single leg movement is great. 20 seconds left. Change your leg if you're doing single legs. <laughs> That's it. Okay, time you up to your last 10 seconds. Push your shoulders up and back. Keep that back really nice and strong. Six, five, four, three, two, one, rest up. 
we've got those heel elevated squats. So you have your dumbbell on the floor. Always come to it from the front. Have a weight if you want. Heels on the books or the dumbbells. And let's go. Three, two, one, off you go. So you're coming down and up. So you can use weights if you want. You don't need to. Right, 30 seconds. Coming down and drive. And squeeze those glutes as you come up. Coming back. That's it. Well done. 15 seconds left. If you want to make a little pulse at the bottom, just increase that strengthening. Feel free to do so. Time under tension. Four, three, two, one. Ooh, rest off. Okay, back up to those sit up to twists. Those who are happy with weights, try and go heavier with your weight for your twist. Three, two, one. Those who are happy with the movement are coming up and over. Or you've got your hand underneath your head and you're tapping. Those who have no weights, you can come up and over with your can. 30 seconds left. Well done. Exhale as you're coming up. Go on, 15 seconds left. Make the most of each movement. Strengthening that body. Moving the body. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Rest off. And then you get to lie down. Coming up, straight in. Okay, toe taps, heel taps for those that want to, lengthen for those that are happy to. And drive. Make sure you're keeping that back on the floor. So if your weights are going behind, keep those arms as straight as you can. Well done. Go on, 10 seconds left here. If you'll find it hard to bring your legs up, you could always just come up on the tabletop and hold down. So always make sure everything feels good for you and adjust the movement as you want to. Three, two, one, rest up. Okay, we're gonna do one more round, but reducing it to 30 seconds for each exercise. Reverse lunge, heel elevated squat, sit up to twist, pedalo, done. That's two minutes worth. Okay, so 30 seconds per exercise, starting with the reverse lunge. If you want to be holding on, you know the score. Okay, are we ready? Ready, ready, ready? 30 seconds, we've got this. Three, two, one, go, go, go. 30 seconds, four lots of 30 seconds. Embrace the movement. That's it. Allow your heart rate to rise. That's it. I'll tell you when we're halfway. If you're on one leg, switch legs now. Halfway, 15 seconds. Drive through. Brilliant. Eight, seven, keep going, keep going, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest off. Get your books or your dumbbells. We're going 30 seconds. Heel elevated lunge. Are we ready? Heels on the dumbbell, coming down. Three, two, one, go, go, go. Pop a pulse in at the bottom of that squat to increase the time under tension as you wish. I'll tell you when we're halfway. Only 30 seconds. Halfway. So drive those legs. Well done. Five, four, three, two, one. Butcher. Okay, coming down to the floor. Sit up to twist, followed by pedalo, and then we are done. 30 seconds per exercise. Grab the weights that you want. 
Okay, three, two, one. Either sit up to twist, or those that want to come up and just tap over. Make sure it works for you. So you go at your own pace. But you want to challenge your body enough for those adaptations. And hopefully, you're going to feel great afterwards. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Rest off. We're lying on our back. Last one. Coming up. Either taps or leg extension. Off you go. Last one. Either extending that leg out, adding in that pullover if you're happy to do so. Challenge that core. That's it. Last exercise. Increase that power. Feel the body strengthening. Go on 10 seconds. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Rest off. Brilliant. Done. Bring your legs into a little tuck. Take your legs one way and your arms that way. Just to give your back a little stretch. So I tuck in the middle. My legs go one way. My arms go the other. Just quite a nice little stretch. You know, two each side. And then we'll come over. And as you stand up, come up into a forward fold. So you're just hanging, feeling the backs of your legs, soften those knees as you want to. And then slowly coming up and roll out those shoulders. Brilliant. Popping one leg forward, a little stretch of your hamstring. And then change over legs. Little stretch of that hamstring. Coming forward, pushing back for your calves. You'll probably want to do a bit of a longer stretch maybe. Later on, and then to our quads. Grab the back of your heel if you can't get your toe. Pushing that hip forward. And then to the other side. Nice, well done. We're done. Nice bit of movement. Hope you enjoyed that.